Hello, this is Tommy from Amorphis. You're watching Metal Bunny. Hi, Fernando for Metal Bunny. Thanks to me to be with us today. We are in London at the O2 Islington. So you guys uh, just ended your 20th anniversary celebration of Terra from the Thousand Lakes. So how did the, the fan love it and how exciting was it for you? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, it's always a little bit difficult when you play whole album from start to end because uh, that's totally different kind of thing how you put the order of songs like on live normally. But I think it was to fans, I think they seem to like it and uh, we like it as well. It was nice no nostalgic trip mm. as you can call it. But uh, of course there was some people who came to show and no, knew only the newer material, so they were a little bit like... Get the day out and then you find yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's this? But it was fun. Uh, that's that will be uh, you did two shows so far. So how was uh, Dublin? That was uh, the first time for you to be there, yeah. Uh, where you mean? Dublin. Uh, Dublin. Yeah, th this was very nice. We didn't know what to expect. Never visit there either. So it was beautiful city and uh, nice atmosphere and great gig. Mm -hmm. um, so you are touring on on your latest album Under the Red Cloud. Uh, this is now your twelfth album and tw twenty six years on the road. And you still came around with another high quality release two years after the Furious Logging and Sinister Milestone Circle. So, um, how does it feel first, and how did uh, the fan enjoy that live? Uh, I think we are very satisfied with the album, and uh, it feels good to play every song from that album on live, so, uh, which we naturally can, but <laughs> I could imagine to play whatever songs from there. So, I think it's uh, like easy live songs to us, like good tempo and stuff. And I think fans seem to like the new stuff very much. And uh, of course, that's our thing. We always want to look forward instead of looking backwards. So, so uh, we don't want to just tour with the old stuff. We want to still are trying to do the best record. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, perfect. Basically, with uh, the production, so I feel it's, uh, it's a bit cleaner and lighter than the latest opus, mm -hmm. and the songwriting become uh, more melodic and folkloristic as well. Mm -hmm. So, would you agree with that? Uh, maybe. I think to us, it's always the same kind of uh, project when we start to look uh, with new songs, but uh, always we have to drop like half of them because there is so many songs when we start. To choose, but this time we let uh, Jens, the producer, choose which songs will be on actual album, so that might affect affect as well to a final result. But uh, yeah, I think Jens did very good job, and uh, he was. This was first time actually we had a producer who was with with a process like uh, already where we were practicing the songs, mm -hmm. not just in the studio. So he wanted to raise tempo for a few songs and stuff like that. Small things, but Make good right? results, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you have some uh, big names, guests on your album, uh, like uh, Grizel, Martin Lopez or Alej as well. So, uh, how was your experience and what quality did that bring into the album? Mm. Well, we had some on my Martin Lopez we had on mind, I think, from the very beginning of the when we knew what which songs are going to be an album and we knew Martin from like early 2000 when we toured with Obed so uh, we wanted to ask him to do some things because he's from uh, yeah, Sweden as well so it was easy choice and uh, then I think uh, Alea was just visiting the studio like accidentally and that's how we had an idea maybe to ask her to sing this little part because there was these female parts we were we knew that there's gonna be somebody who's doing that but we didn't know who we were <laughs> thinking to ask like cardigans mm -hmm. singer or something but uh, well we didn't and uh, I think it was uh, Jens's idea to use the fluid things and that was Decision as well, yeah. but we didn't meet met them like in a studio. They did it in separate sessions. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I think uh, to me, being working maybe in his growl as well. I think um, uh, under the red cloud is one of the albums with the most growling part of it, uh, which are just amazing, really. But um, I guess he's been working a bit on that as well. Or? Mm. Yeah, I think he's trying to get those things like wider every time. Like now, there's like this <laughs> almost black metal is. Mm -hmm. Singing parts as well. So. Yeah, a lot of influences. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a lot of influences. Yeah, and no, I think it was uh, Jens wanted us. There was a few songs which we were thinking to have uh, like more like clean vocals, but it was Jens ideas as well. Like uh, no, no, no clean vocals here. Just mm. do the <laughs> brutal stuff. So. Fair yeah. um, could we expect uh, the band himself to write the lyrics at some point beyond the album? Uh, as I'm sure a lot of fans would like to actually hear what's you guys have to tell. I know you got mm. someone which is like kind of the ghost member of you know the, mm. the band. So, well, I think from the beginning we have had some like outsider who's doing the lyrics because none of us are not willing to or able to. So, I think it's more important to us if we are concentrating to music and then mm -hmm. we don't want to rate that new music with the uh, lousy lyrics. So. I think it works for, for us yeah. best this way. There was some of our own lyrics in the first album, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's all the future for, for Am Office? Have you guys already started writing some new material, got mm. some new ideas for new uh, albums or anything? Mm. Well, definitely there's gonna be next album, but uh, we haven't uh, focused, like, have, haven't talked about it yet at all actually. I think it comes like after one year when the tours of this new album are over we start to start to uh, think about that and maybe take in new stuff but I think everybody is uh, already have composed some new stuff but we just haven't yeah, Any it live DVDs perhaps maybe? Uh, I don't know we'll, we'll see there will be one like special show in Finland I cannot talk about it too much yet, but uh, if we could maybe put it that to DVD, that would be nice. We'll mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. um, to conclude, um, do you have anything you would like to say to your, your diehard and your new fans? Perhaps? Mm -hmm. Well, we are grateful to our loyal uh, long-time fans, of course, and uh, it's great to see that we also have uh, new, new fans still after like 26 years, so uh, thanks for the support. Thank you very much for your time. Yep. Cheers. All right.